So this is our dive on the silver bullet. Just recently. We got in later in the afternoon. So we started to lose light. So throughout the video you'd be able to see just how fast we it can get dark down there. When we got in uh, we could right away tell it's been a while since uh, this uh, boat's been cleaned. Uh, the owner called us up and mentioned it's been some time. Last time it was clean was when it was hauled out. So we got in, we noticed that uh, there was no zinc on the shaft at all. And after uh, measuring a, a few times just to make sure, determined that the uh, the shaft um, diameter was uh, uh, of a diameter that we don't generally carry uh, zincs for in our inventory. We don't really come across it that often. Uh, so we didn't have a zinc fort, and uh, needless to say, we'll be popping down in the water on this one again soon. Um, go ahead and put a zinc on there. So as I said, when we got in, uh, it was quite, quite filthy. Very, very thick and heavy slime on the entire hull surface. Right away, I could uh, feel uh, the roughness of the keel fin, and I did find a few spots uh, right there, for example. Uh, a few spots that um, I wanted to make sure I documented well, get it on video. We'll be seeing that uh, nice little run in the surface there again soon. But you can see in the water all the uh, debris floating around. Uh, this is just right off of the hull. So now we're making our way uh, back aft. We're on the starboard side now. And this is that uh, crack through the, uh, through the coating on the leading edge of the uh, keel pin. And uh, this is not necessarily uncommon. Um, it doesn't necessarily indicate any major damage. It could just be superficial on the surface and underneath the uh, paint there, but it's a common area where we find it. Uh, and it can be a, an indication of some weak uh, spots on the um, keel fin there where it meets the hole. Uh, so it's certainly something to take a closer look at uh, the next time a boat gets hauled out and uh, make sure that uh, that's all it is, is just on, on the surface. So you, so you, as you can see that uh, we're already losing light uh, this was later in the day and uh, sundown is about five o'clock so by the time we got done with the dive everything's done by feel getting up really close with the light there so we can see where a zinc was on there at one point in time. It's certainly gone now. Okay. You said uh, we got a couple of one inches at the car. At the car. And the prop did show some signs of uh, going without a zinc for some time. We'll take a closer look at that here in a little bit.
Strut looked good. Um, the rest of the whole surface looked good as well. Well, that just totally throws off your OCD, doesn't it? I can't hear it. I can't. It's, you're too loud. Turn it down. So that totally messes with your OCD, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to determine if you have one or two doing here. Looks like they only have one. Yeah. Um, that was it. That was it. So we're just taking some a little extra time here, looking over the running gear and the shaft, strut, and the prop. And wiggle the shaft a little bit just to make sure that there's not too much play in the shaft bearing. Rudder looked good as well. You can really see how thick the slime is on there. So here's some after shots. Uh, it doesn't look too dark up top side, but as soon as you hit the water, it goes dark. So you can see that nice pretty blue hole. Here's some close-up shots of the uh, prop all cleaned up. You can see the specs on there. A little spot where a little sun has uh, end of the blades got a little weak there, chipped off. So we're going to uh, head forward here, take a little closer look at the um, keel fin at some of the areas that we found earlier. And this is on the trailing edge of the keel fin, the aft end. And the surface here, you can see uh, quite a bit of uh, paint chipping and flaking. Uh, Here we go on the line leading uh, forward towards the leading edge of the keel fin. A little closer look there. Okay. This would be on the port side. And we'll move around. You can see again how dark it is down there. And starboard side. trailing edge. So as we're getting close to the end here, as you can see we've uh, run out of light pretty much. So thanks for watching. Take care.